What's up love bugs? I am back with another video. Hey y'all, hey. So if you can't already tell by the title, I am doing a product review. This time it's for the body, so I'm here for it. If this is your first time checking out my channel, hello, hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified anytime I do any type of uploads. Don't forget to check your girl out on the gram. So you guys, I feel like I never talk about this. Maybe because, I don't know. But anyways, so I'm reviewing the Myel Organic stretch mark cream it's the pomegranate and honey so not everybody has this problem i'm one of the people who do i do get stretch marks from time to time but the ones that i'm trying to fade honestly are stretch marks that i had for a while like more than like two three years type thing so i i wanted them to fade because i'm just kind of like i'm tired of looking at you so just fade and I seen this cream and it was on sale. At first it was, I believe this retails for $16.49 for three fluid ounces. That's actually kind of high for the ounces. However, honestly, stretch mark cream that actually works or stretch mark cream, even if it doesn't work, it's usually expensive. So I didn't really pay that much attention to that. However, I did get this on sale, so I only paid $7 when I purchased it. And this product says it locks in moisture and helps reduce the appearance of stretch marks. So this product is not claiming to remove stretch marks, it's just help claiming to help reduce the uh, stretch marks. So it says, our pomegranate and honey stretch mark cream locks in moisture and helps reduce the appearance of stretch marks specially formulated with vitamins and minerals that concentrate on proving, improving the elasticity of stretching skin. Pomegranate and honey are combined to enhance skin tightening and promote collagen and moisturization. So it just says apply a generous amount in a circle or motion to the areas of the body where you have stretch marks. So I've been using this product for about a week. I will link the pictures on this side and this side. So the picture on this side is before and this one is the picture that I took today so if you can tell in the two pictures it did in the short amount of time which I was actually surprised because I thought this was gonna be a load of crock but anyways <laughs> I know that's crazy but it actually did reduce the coloring of it the this one over here is a little more darker I have darker marks the marks are still there they're just not as dark so I'm that was my overall goal I don't care if they're there I just want the visibility of them to be reduced it's not like I wear crop tops or anything like that anyways so you would never see those stretch marks because they're on the side of my stomach right there a little bit above right above my butt inside hip so you really wouldn't see them that often however I still wanted them to be fit. I will say it has helped reduce the color of my stretch marks. So y'all can see in the pictures, one looks lighter than the other, and that is definitely in a short amount of time. I haven't been putting anything else on it just because I've just been kind of over it and I'm just kind of like, eh, whatever, it is what it is. But we'll continue to see if like the top half of the stretch marks fade as well because it only looks like the bottom half has faded as of now. Yeah, it looks like only the bottom half has faded on both sides. So sound off in the comment section. Let me know if you guys have checked this out. Tell me what you guys think of it, if you guys like it, if you guys don't. And yeah, until next time y'all, bye.